Hi guys, welcome back to ImmortalBJJ.com. Uh, I got Sean here with me, one of my blue belts. Uh, today is clinic day at uh, Immortal BJJ, and what we're looking at is how to sweep someone from the bottom of half guard. All right, so here we go. Sean, I'm gonna put Sean in my bottom half guard, so that means my right leg is through his legs, and I have what's called a fish hook. So my toes are back, and I'm gonna lock my left leg over my shin. This is essentially just beginner based half guard. Now, one thing that Sean might be able to get because he has a really good top game in half guard, he's established a really strong underhook and he also has uh, an arm that's cross facing my head. Because his head is low and his chest is pushing into my shoulder, I'm kind of flat. I don't want to be flat in half guard. But because he has such a dominant control of my underhook, I can't get my hand in. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and, and take the position the way it is and work from here. All right, so my left hand is going to come around and I'm going to grab Scott's, I'm sorry, uh, Sean's gi, or if I can get a hold of it, his belt. By me locking down on my left side, I'm controlling his underhooking arm, which will keep his arm kind of pinned to me. So he's going to have limited basing options in that direction because I'm going to sweep Sean towards my left. Now with my right hand, I'm going to get control of his belt on the opposite side and I'm going to start to push down as I hip escape out. I need to make space so I can get my foot into a hooking position on Sean's right leg. Now once I get that set, I'm going to take my right knee and my foot and start to drive it down to the floor. Now in the Immortal BJJ blog, one of my blue belts, Scott, he mentioned, well, if I'm in this position, how do I generate any power to make my opponent go in that direction? Well, how I generate power is that if I'm trying to take Sean in that direction, if his hips and base are on this side of my body, I need to shift his weight to that side. So when I get my hook in, if I try and lift in this position, I have no power because it's only one leg lifting his entire body. But when I do a crowbar technique with my right leg, and that means I'm driving my leg down and driving my hips up, or his, uh, my knee up, it shifts his hips to the side. Now, I'm going to take my leg off of his leg and plant it on the floor. Now I have the lifting potential of my left leg as well as my right. I'm now going to start to lift, driving, and look over my left shoulder, and I sweep my opponent from half guard. And I can easily set my controls up. And what's great about this, I'll get two points for the sweep, but when I land, I am out of his half guard. So I don't have to worry about passing it. Let's go again. So to answer your question, Scott, what's going to generate power is the fact that I'm getting my fish hook leg down to the ground. All right? So left hand over, right hand at the belt, push down, hip out, keeping my fish hook tight for now, set my hook. I'm not going to crowbar using my right leg. My foot goes down, my knee goes up. His hip shifted. I now bring my foot off, plant my foot, push. Use my left leg to drive, and then I finish my sweep with all my controls of uh, side control. All right, one more time. Also, I can grab the belt for the pants if he has knee pants on, and I have my cross side position. Alright guys, so Scott, I hope that helps on the blog, and Sean, I hope that also helps you for clinic. Alright? Thanks guys, keep on tuning in.